What's my mother name? What's up guys, KDub175 back with another Pokemon Duel video and we are in the Dragon Gym Cup guys and it's round 4 believe it or not. So we've had 3 other Dragon Gyms before this one. Uh, but you know, same rewards, a lot of you know coins, Carmenite, some gems and we are going to get another Alolan Grimer. So you know if you guys are newer to the game or you weren't able to play the, uh, I think it was the Poison Gym Cup. And you weren't able to get it. Um, now's your chance to get one. And we are going to get the EX Gudra. You guys remember you know, me showing you that they uh, you know, had the image available in the material exchange shop. Now, the great thing about it is you're going to be able to replace any ability of any of your Pokemon. It'd be nice if you could do the enemy as well, but it's just going to be your Pokemon. And the thing's relatively easy to uh, level up. I mean, this thing could have a four-star Slippery Swap and a 150 Dragon Breath. has the counter, and it's going to be really good paired up with Latias, Latios, and Wobbuffet. Uh, those are probably the top three Pokemon that I can think of, and maybe Nihiligo if you don't want Nihiligo to go to the Ultra Space when it's knocked out. Uh, but you can only apply one marker at a time. So if you have a Pokemon on the field that you put the uh, Slime Touch on, then you're not going to be able to mark anybody else, I believe, until that Pokemon is knocked out or you scoop it up. It, it basically needs to leave the field. And, you know, obviously once it leaves the field, just like all markers, that marker will be removed. So, I mean, it's going to allow you to attack with Wobbuffet, and uh, your Latias and Latias won't be excluded. Uh, top 3,000, top 1,000, top 100. For the trophies, you can get a total of five trophies with the 30 wins. And if you get the 11 and 0. And uh, we're about a day and a half into the gym. And there's only about 22,000 some people. You know, less less than 30,000 people ahead of us. Which, you know, I don't know. Like, doesn't seem like a lot. But if you guys missed my deck prep video, this is the deck that I'm running. I'll link it below. Go check it out. It has a lot of insight for the Dragon Gym Cup in a, in a nice little guide. But, um, yeah, we got two Mega Rays, two Altari with Omegas, Drampa, and Fracture into the Haxorus. Now, I'd like to run a second Fracture. I really would. But I probably have to drop a, a Ray, and I have two Mega Rays, so I'm not sure that I want to do that. But having two 4 MP off the bench that are insanely strong with Territoriality is completely insane. And we do have our first opponent, okay. Um, 1595, not too overpowered of a deck, but they do have the, uh, the Dratini. Now, with the Dragonair, you know what? That's actually a pretty good idea for a 4 MP Fracture, how you can you know, run up, basically threaten game, and they have to sit down on their own entry and attack you. With that Dragon Tail, you could at least send it back to the bench, give it weight, and free up your entry point a little bit. So, uh, I don't know. I, I kind of I kind of like the uh, Dratini with the Kyurem, you know, 3 MP, freeze him in that. Yeah, that Dragon Tail, it's a pretty good idea, not bad. So, I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, so, like, I had to speed this up, and I, I could have just cut it out completely, but... Look, the clock is not moving at all. Not at all. And it's been almost a minute, so I was able to get the uh, stopwatch next to it. And it, it's real time. It's real time. And it takes about um, yeah, about a minute and a half before, before the clock even starts. And I mean, it should be counting down, so there we go. And then I skip ahead a little bit, like over two minutes, and they only lost about 40 seconds. Oh my god, like, finally! And, dude, like, I feel like I've been sitting here for, like, at least a couple of minutes. At least a couple of minutes. And, yeah, they have they only lost about 40 seconds. So, th that's insane. I'm, I'm probably gonna, like, I don't really want you guys to have to sit there and watch that for as long as I've sat there. But that was really weird, the first time that I've ever seen something like that. Usually... It'll show them, you know, trying to connect or something, and the clock will still kind of start to count down. Um, okay, opponent wants to be able to get another 3 MP out to uh, cover the goal. We're just going to go ahead and put Ray out. Excuse me. Okay. They have the Dratinis set up. They want to freeze me. They want to be able to bring cure him out and hold me hostage, but the good thing about having my Ray is I don't have to worry about tagging it. I can just go Mega 
and um, try to attack when my turns are about to end. And if they choose to attack us, then we can use the Mega as kind of like a free full heal. So I do have two Meteoric Teachings. So I'm going to go ahead and put Drampa down the left side here. Drampa is a monster in this gym. If you guys have Drampa, you need to put it in your team. Because, uh, I mean, that thing just smacks everything. Everything. As long as it hits its Dragon Balls. But, um, you know, it's been known to land Miss, push aside against Gold. So, I mean, there are some bad rolls that you can get with Drampa, but um, I like our setup. We have an entry point. We have, you know, Mega Rayquaza on both sides of our Altaria, all with Mega Evolutions. And they just give us the opportunity to go right for the Fly Cheese here. So, we're definitely going to be going for it, guys. You know we have to go for it. I wish I, wish I could double chance all in the same turn. Alright, come on, Ray, you land fly all the time. This is when we need it. And of course not. But at least we don't get frozen, which, you know, feels pretty good. I mean, it's a good consolation prize, I guess. You know, we don't land fly, but at least we don't get frozen. Okay, Lucario, really nice goalie. They have the Vibrava. It's a pretty ironclad defense. So we have a surround set up on that shiny Ray. I don't know that it would be worth it to use a Mega and sack it just to get rid of the uh, Shiny Ray. They do have some Max Revive, so... Um, okay, they're going to move over. Mm, I could attack this Kyurem. I mean, we have the Fly. We have the Gold. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of... Per there's a lot of Wheel outside of that, uh, that Freeze, so we're going to go for it. Whew, okay. Hit the fly, hits the outrage, so that would have been a KO. I mean, we're hitting for 230 damage. And we do have a surround set up on the shiny ray, so uh, that's pretty awesome. Like, I cannot wait till they bring the shiny Mega Rayquaza. And I know that, like, everybody's going to be, you know, wanting to use that. Because, I mean, shiny ray has a lot of benefits with against the Ultra Beasts. You know, Poiple just came out. Boom, there we go. Push aside into the gold uh, yet again we don't get frozen um but yeah i don't think ultra beasts are done for poipo really gives them it, it like poipo revived the ultra beast a little bit like they still struggle there's a lot of counters um yeah let's just go ahead and take that surround this route they do have a max revive so we're allowing them to uh max revive either the shiny ray or the dratini um Dratini, they can attack with the Dratini because their Kyrm's not in range. Okay, yeah, they're going to be moving over, allowing me to take the entry. So I would imagine that they're going to try to freeze me here, and they do. But we do have another Meteoric Teaching, so I'm not worried. But I hope we don't have to burn it. Okay, Freezing Tail is going to go up, and we're going to be frozen. We cannot tag our Rayquaza because we are within two steps of the Kyrm. But we're going to be able to go Meteoric Teachings in... Now we're no longer frozen. Feels bad <laughs> for them. And, uh, yeah, I think I think this is pretty much GG. Like, they're going to have to get pretty lucky to, uh, yeah, they're going to have to attack here. I mean, we're going to have to basically land a miss. Oof. They couldn't even get the uh, purple. Uh, that kind of sucks. And, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to take that evolution. And, yo, know, if, Hax, if Haxorus was able to uh, negate purple knockouts like the Turtonator did, oh, wow. It'd be so good. So, I'm glad they didn't do that. Like, I spent 4K material, and that's game. They just threw the game. Yep, they just threw the... Yeah, it doesn't even ma matter. It does not matter that they knocked this out. Our Ray is 3 MP, and we have the Altaria. So, even if we weren't... Mega Ray, we'd be able to take the goal with the Mega Altair. So, like, yeah, GG, but man, that, that that was a throw. That was a big throw. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I crafted the Totonator, and I haven't even really been using it. 2,800 player, and we're going to get 33 points. Not bad. Not bad. We win our first matchup, so it's always good to start off with a dub in the gym. Let's go, Haxorus. Dude, that looks sick with, like, the a little animation with his uh, with his blade. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna jump into another match. If 
And then we get another short match. You know, we'll play three matches. See how this one goes. We're going to go up against Lan GG in uh, 1628. They have the Tordinator. Speak of the Devil. They have the Salamance. And with the Mega Salamance. They also have the Guzzlord. Uh, I don't have Guzzlord. I know Fodder's been running Guzzlord in this gym. And he's, he's it's been amazing for him in the uh, as a goalie. So... Um, not that bad of a deck, to be honest. Not that bad, but... This is my opening... This is how I open up, guys. I go Altaria first turn always. See? And they have to go defensive. Like, you know, even if they wanted to come out and try to get a fly with that uh, Salamance, I'd be able to go Mega Altaria and cover the goal. Um, I also have the Fracture that I can cover the goal. Then I have Max Revive that I can bring Fracture back onto the goal again. And uh, this is my second play. Rush up with the Fracture. And uh, yeah, like all they can do is sit something down on the entry. And they have to attack. We're going to have to land a miss to lose this. I mean, they could have got the fly. Yeah. And they get knocked out. So, you know, normally they probably wouldn't have attacked. And hope to you know, land a fly if I attack them. Because I, I probably definitely would have attacked. I mean, they... Hmm... Yeah, no, it would have probably been a little bit too risky. Yeah, they probably would have went Mega Salamance right after as well. So, you know, that's kind of why I want to get a scoop up or run like a, a second Fracture. And wow, they're going to go right for it. They get the Fly. Come on, anything but gold. Anything but gold. Oh, and they get the gold. Never punished. Like they, you know, probably should have covered their goal first. But, like, I mean, it was obvious that that was the... Uh, that was the play. I mean, though, they do have the Dragon Tail in the Brutal Swing on the Guzzlers. So I don't know. Yeah, I think I would have covered the goal maybe with the Shiny Ray and then went after the Haxorus. Because I probably would have protected the left side thinking Altaria was more uh, more of a uh, more vulnerable. Wow, we have a Fly Cheese here. They do have the Counter Attack. Oh, man. I don't know if this is a bait or not. Like, I mean, we should be able to at least knock out this Tordinator. And, I mean, they're going to have to cover the goal anyway. They don't have long throw. So, uh, you know, we, we should be fine here. We should be fine here. Come on. Come on, Ray. You're the best purple attacker in the game. Just land the fly and get a quick, easy win. Ooh, and they get that miss, too. But the blue was. And now we are threatening game. Okay, need to bring uh, probably Drampa out. Need to bring Drampa out. Yeah, look at that. 170, get a 50, plus 10. Oh, sh oh my God, no, that was a huge miss. Oh, but they don't go for it. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, dude, I was so stupid. They have counterattack. They could have came up 3 MP and attacked and got a, a fly, potentially. Now, I didn't check the wheel. You know, they are burned, so maybe they don't even have a fly. But, uh, wow. Just, I wasn't even... <laughs> but, oh, man. That that that, that feels bad. Oh, okay, cool. And we do get the Dragon Pulse. Good job, Drampa. And that is going to be GG. We're going to go ahead and rush up with our Altar. Man, I can't believe I did that. I get so mad when I see other people do that. Whenever, they're, Like, dude, you're giving them a fly win. Because it would have been the same thing coming out from the right. I just cover the goal. But in that scenario, they don't have the opportunity to attack and get a fly win. So, uh, wow, yeah. Definitely not going to make that mistake again. So, GG. This deck is uh, pretty OP. And uh, that player was almost 3,600. And uh, we're going to get up to 1,567. So... Two wins, 67 points. We're going to get some gems. And uh, I don't know, guys. I think I think we can play another match. I think we can play another match. We're 2-0. Great way to start it off. Hacks are, uh, like, yeah, it looks sick with that animation with the blade spinning it around. And who are we going to be going up against? Tommy YT. Tommy, I don't know any Tommies who make YouTube videos, but maybe we'll have to 
check Tommy out and see if he's uh if he's any good. Party is connecting. Okay, two Flygons. Draco Meteor, pretty good. Tordinator, Fracture. They got the Salamans with the Mega Salamans, and they do have the Dragalgy. So, um, Pokemon Switch, Hurdle Jump, Gold Block. Max Revive, Double Chance. Okay. Hmm. There goes the time. I was going to say, don't do this again where we sit here for like two minutes and the time doesn't even tick down. So, okay. They come out with the Flygon. And this is what's nice about going second, is you do have that 4 MP advantage with the Fracture. Because I've noticed, like, I mean, you go second, you're able to bring out the Fracture. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick Ray out. I'm going to stick Ray out here. And I have my Fracture. I mean, I could have rushed up with my Fracture, but then, you know, they could have got the Fly Away. I mean, I do have my Mega Ray. Maybe I should have ran up with Fracture. I don't know. I mean, we ha we're level 10, Chain level 10. If he, like, all we need to do is really land purple here. But, um, come on. Okay. Just land the Dragon Claw again. This was kind of like the worst roll for us. Oh, man, and they get the Guillotine. All right. So, now I cannot use my Mega Rayquaza to cover the goal here because, you know, territoriality. So, uh, man, no, actually, I don't want to max revive Fracture, I don't think. I think I need to DC here. Or I need to go Mega Rayquaza and attack. Yeah, I think that's our best chance. If we land gold, I mean, we'll pretty much beat everything except the Dual Chop, I believe. Dual Chop is going to out-damage us. 78192. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to beat a dual chop. Come on. Come on, Ray. Don't lose it for us. Okay, there we go. Whew. I mean, we have pretty good odds. Like, white. You know, like, oh, that would have sucked. So, no, maybe I should have rushed down with. Yeah, I probably should have rushed down with the uh, with the fracture. So, that, that was a misplay. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. It's been a little while since I made like a live video, so <laughs> um, just gonna cover up the goal with the max revive. Cause lately I've just been, you know, duels that are that are pretty good. Record the uh, featured duel version of them. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys like the live play? better than the feature duels like the feature duels are shorter matches it's a lot cleaner and um this is you know can be a little bit more drawn out there we go we get the fly gg <laughs> well that looks sick dude i'm gonna get a screenshot of that that was pretty cool like because of the uh poison touch and that was a that was definitely a misplay tommy yt 2500 so um, yeah, I've never seen a Tommy YT. Let me know in the comments if you guys have watched anybody. Uh, maybe they're newer. But, uh, yeah, GG, man. De definitely never want to give somebody a, a chance to fly. <laughs> like we did in the last battle. Uh, they could have hit the counterattack. But, um, I mean, we're ranking up there a little bit. You know, only three wins, 1604, and a party top 4,000. Like, man, people just aren't playing the game like they used to. But uh, I enjoy the gyms. Gyms are my favorite events in this game. So I'm going to be trying to find time to play some more matches. But uh, that's going to wrap this one up. If you guys enjoyed, definitely leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a new upload. You can follow me on Twitter at KDub175. And until the next one, later guys.